The first step in the process is using the pug mill, which de-airs and mixes the clay. It's then pugged out into uh, a certain length and cut into the proper size for each figure. The next phase is throwing the bodies and the heads on the wheel. First I throw a cylinder and then modify for each figuring. Uh, the top is narrowed to accommodate uh, tra attaching the head. The heads are thrown from a hump, maybe four or five from one ball of clay. Notice how the top of the head is completely closed. The next step in the process is putting the features on the uh, faces and uh, they'll be a little bit different for all the figurines and the hairstyles will be a little different also. Okay, the next step is attaching the head to the body. Uh, the shoulders are then filled in. The baby is then placed on the, ba on the mother's shoulder. Uh, the blanket around the baby. The braids are then attached and the trim put on, which can be can vary from figure to figure. Okay, I will be giving Clay okay, the uh, uh, pieces uh, the, that she's going to attach to the figure. While she's putting on the uh, baby's head, for instance, I will be punching out a blanket from a piece of uh, slab that I've rolled out on the slab roller. And <clears throat> All the while she's doing that, I'm making different pieces that go, uh, of, uh, uh, that get go on to the figurine. Uh, for instance, I will take a piece of extruded uh, clay, uh, cut it off to length, and bend it over. And uh, you see that I will twist that to make braids. And uh, while she's doing that attachment of those, I'll probably give her some trim of some sort to apply to the front of the figurine. And uh, that will vary as to uh, whichever trim that we decided to put on. Once the figurine is bisque in the bisque stage and brought back up to the studio, um, the first thing we do is to have, put a heavy oxide on the hair and some part of the trim and a lighter oxide, these are uh, iron oxides, on the face and part the rest of the trim, or rest, rest of the uh, uh, attachments depending on the figurine. Once we get that done we place on the turquoise uh, wherever it's uh, apropos and uh, get that all settled. We win, then wax it with a wax resist. It's a water-based wax resist and that uh, keeps the glaze that we're going to pour on from adhering to uh, uh, the parts that we want to ha have the oxide show. The figurines are then dried thoroughly and, and bisked. Uh, at that time the, we oxide the faces, uh, the hair and parts of the trim and they're, they're oxided uh, which means using iron oxide and water, and water. We then place a wax resist on the, uh, on the oxided parts. When that's dry uh, with our own uh, custom made glazes and we either hand brush or pour the glazes on. They're then ready for the final uh, high fire. <laughs>